Welcome guys, in this video we are going to learn how to use a break statement and a continue statement. Okay, so, crank up Visual Studio and make a templated project as we've done before. Of course we want to remove some of these, so let's organize these quickly here to... Alright, there we go. So the only one we will need will be using system like this. Okay? That's it. Now, I'll paste some code down below that I have prepared. And what this thing will do is spin and ask for input. And if the input is not supplied, it will break out. And if it's supplied, it will continue. So, I'm going to say while true as before. We've seen that before. We will say this console here, that right line. And then enter string. So some kind of input, as always. We'll save it. So string s equals console that read line. Close with a semicolon. Then we'll say this. If s is this, nothing then we'll break out of the loop like this, you see? And notice that when you type break, it highlights together with the while. See that? That means the break and the while go together. And this break will break out of the loop. Okay? Out of the while loop. Now, the other case might be, for example, if, say, as that length is greater than or equal to, say, 1, like that. Okay? What we'll do is this. We'll write a console that right line, and we'll just capitalize things. So we'll say here this following. Let me leave this code that I have here for reference that I don't need. There you go. Say so s substring and then zero comma one. So grab the first character, at index zero one character, and then two upper, like this. And then we'll say plus s substring and then one s length minus one. It's a good end of the string. To convert that to lower. There you go. All right, then close that with a semicolon. <clears throat> and here it's just a matter of matching. The, let me just, because it's a very long statement, so let me make sure that I have everything matched together correctly. All right, let's take a look. Um, and here, I just have to add the parentheses like this, okay? There you go. And then remove this one here. There you go, okay? When it's long like that, it's a little more tricky. And what we will say is this. We'll say continue like this, okay? So this will keep us within the loop, as you'll see in a second, okay? And then perhaps at the bottom, we want to have some code. So let's take a look at that code. And here with all of the nesting... It makes the code, you know, more difficult to read, so let me just do this. And if you ever want to, you know, modify your font sizes, you're going to go to Tools, Options, and if you go Fonts and Colors, I have to decrease my size a little in the text editor, plain text. I'll set mine over to 16 so that I can fit the code. As you can see, it's tricky sometimes. Some of these modifications will require a restart of Visual Studio, but some will not. Okay? So this is just a text editor window, and it tells you the font, consoles, and so on. Okay? So now it fits, and it's clean. Great. So the next stage will be perhaps outside the while, we'll say something like console.writeline, and you should have entered something period equals with a semicolon and then console dot read key remember read key is another way of keeping the window open you press a key and it shuts down there you go so let's go through debug and step into let's analyze the code here this is quite interesting so first we have just this, and let's go here to it. So while it's true, remember true is always true, so this thing will keep spinning, prompting for new input. All right, so let's enter a string. This is the best day of our lives. Hit enter. So in this case, clearly S was not in nothing. So it's going to take a look. It's going to go over here. It's going to check that it's more than or equal to 1. It's going to come over here. All right, it will break the string and it's going to hit the continue and now look very carefully when it gets to the continue it's not going to hit those closing braces it's just going to jump up to the top of the loop take a look you see that so that's the effect of having the continue present okay 
and that's it. Okay. In this case, the effect is not very visible because we typed it correctly anyway. But imagine we typed, you know, this is the best day of our lives. Again, hit enter, and again, as you can see here, that fails checks over here. Displays continue. Go to the top of the loop, and so on. You see. So. Clearly, this is just continuing the loop without going to the bottom. So those statements would never be reached if you had them present. Now, one thing that you can do else is the following. So imagine now we enter nothing and we hit enter. Okay, so as you can see, S now is just you know empty. Okay, so that means the break should hold. Take a look. So step into it. It goes into the body of the break, and then it notice that that skips you past all of the other things. It doesn't analyze them. Doesn't look at them at all. Right, it just gets you outside the loop fast. Okay? And then it waits, you know. You have a shoot you should have entered something, and you hit the key like enter, and it pops you out of the whole application like this. Okay? There you go. So remember the big idea here with these uh, breaks and continues is break will pop you out of a loop like this, okay? And not just a while loop, other ones also. Uh, continue will get you back to the top of the loop without you know hitting any of the code below. Imagine we had something like out here, some code. Okay, that wouldn't get hit if uh, we passed this condition here and used continue. Okay, because it just goes up to the top of the loop. There you go. So thanks very much, guys. I'll see you in another video.